والله يدعو الى دار السلام ويهدي من يشاء الى صراط مستقيم for the question there sister okay sister nishima from the united arab emirates asked two questions the first uh, is about somebody who's had a child out of wedlock a muslim couple mm. um, the grandmother um, she never knew about this child now she's known about this child she wants to know uh, does she have any responsibility in looking after this child sheikh Okay, first of all, we need to explain one thing. A child out of woodlock, there is no blame nor sin on the child, him or herself. Exactly. They're innocent. Mm-hmm. So, of course, the financial responsibility will be on the biological father, even though this child is due to an illegitimate relationship. But he has to claim the financial responsibility, even though he will be deprived from the honor of giving him his last name, because he doesn't deserve that. Okay, that is due to... Uh, that he fulfilled this desire in an illicit way, in an illegitimate fashion. So, we need to keep in mind, if we know that somebody, an adopted son or daughter, or somebody that his father is not known, or it is known that he was born out of wedlock, this person himself is innocent. He would be judged according to his or her action, not their father and mother's action, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, لَا تَزِرُ وَازِرَةٌ وَزْرَ أُخْرَى No bearer of a sin bears the sin of another. So that is not their problem. That's not their sin. Second, uh, those who have fell in this fault and mistake, they have really to go back to Allah with sincere repentance. Because a zina is one of the major sins. And there is a severe torment that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has threatened those who indulge into these illicit activities with on the Day of Judgment and in this life as well. And there is a severe punishment if you happen to live in a Muslim society where Islamic law is being applied. That if the, 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 the person who's committed adultery, male or a female, happen to be single, not been married before, the punishment is to be lashed a hundred lashes each. each. And the punishment becomes even severer to stoning if he or she have committed adultery while they were muhsan. يعني they have tried fulfilling this desire in a lawful fashion through getting married. So why do you give up on this? You abandon the lawful and you go to what's prohibited. So now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, in Surah Al-Furqan, among the traits of the most merciful, Ibadur uh, Rahman, he said, وَلَا يَزْنُونَ وَمَنْ يَفْعَلْ ذَلِكَ يَلْقَ أَثَامًا يُضَاعَفْ لَهُ الْعَذَابُ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ وَيَخْلُدْ فِيهِ مُهَانَ He said that they do not commit zina. They, they stay away and they abstain from even the introductions which lead to adultery and fornication. And whosoever in, indulges into these uh, evil activities shall receive a great sin and double the punishment. Then by the end Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, إِلَّا مَنْ تَابَ وَآمَنَ وَعَمِلَ عَمَلًا صَالِحًا فَأُولَٰئِكَ يُبَدِّلُ اللَّهُ سَيِّئَاتِهِمْ حَسَنَاتِ Except if those who uh, uh, got involved in these wrong activities, even in zina, if they repented, and he asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for his forgiveness with sincerity in this condition. Not only that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive them their sins, but Allah as well will change their evil deeds, the mountain of sayyat into mountain of good deeds. Yubaddilullahu sayyatim hasanat. Why is that? Because indeed Allah is the oft forgiven, the most merciful. So and, and to carry on with that, the grandmother, if she still has a responsibility, she's still the, the grandmother, she still should take care of this child if no one's taking care of it? If the father is not available, mm-hmm. or if he died, I'm talking about the biological father, mm-hmm. then the responsibility uh, will transfer to those who, from amongst his family members, who were originally in charge, in case that there was a legitimate pregnancy. Okay, mm-hmm. If no one is there, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordered us to take care of the orphans, even if they were out of wedlock, because that's not their sin, that is not their problem. So taking care of them, raising them, sponsoring them, would give you the status of being with the Prophet ﷺ in heaven, like these two fingers.